ESV, the longer wheelbase, and uh, three Yukon XLs. To show real quick, I am gonna put the ESV on number one because it is. Uh, let me see. This one is uh, 5,947 pounds. This is the lightest one, so I wanna like to put. I like to put the lightest one on number one. This one's a fully loaded Denalis. Denalis, they weigh about, there you go, 62, 6300 uh, pounds. Not dollars. <laughs> they weigh, they cost way, lot, way more than that. Anyway, so yeah, Denalis are about 6300 pounds. Let me see how much they want for it. Ah, that's a lot of money. Yeah, so the heaviest one, they're gonna go on the trailer in the middle. Uh, what I'd like to do is uh, I'm gonna put number one and two long a long wheel base ones in the belly I'm gonna put a escalate short wheel base over the top on the tray I'm gonna put two long ones and on the tail I'm gonna put just a taco uh, taco yeah right there today is very cold I dropped my load yesterday we split with Ralphie Ralphie went to Houston but he's coming back to uh, Midlothian, he's gonna get a load as well. So, we're gonna catch him again probably in Cali. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw this load, maybe like an hour, not not in a rush. So that's fine. we we'll put it on the truck and we're gonna go back to Cali. And from Cali we'll see, maybe we'll go somewhere else. On the pockets I like to have like six holes open. Not too many. That way you don't have too much weight on the steer. Truck got real dirty yesterday because it was snowing in, in Dallas. <laughs> on uh, January 24th, yeah, it was snowing. Today's the 25th. Uh, this guy, he's uh, here for the first time. He's trying to load this uh, stick load unit. But at least he's got a four, four or post hideout and uh, his decks are long, so he can put a big, uh, big units on uh, each deck, which is great. Yeah, and actually, oh, that's that's a cool one. I never seen it before. Hey, that's a cool option. What? That's a cool option. What? It goes down. There. Sure. Not bad. I like that. Alright guys, let's get to work.
I got the top done. That's how I do it. There you go. Now I'm gonna load the belly and I'm gonna load the Escalade short wheel base and we'll have my wheels right here all the way forward and my hood my bumper is going to be like right about here yeah let's do it it's going to be tricky to get out but it ain't going to be that bad as you can see I have just enough room to open the door this is all the way up and that's my clearance it fits on one deck so that's good and it's still plenty of room I can turn easily no not a problem only when I have a car behind the bunk sometime it gets close but I can get it like close like maybe about a foot between the car and uh, between the two cars and yeah that's it I'm gonna strap it down, lower it, and that taco is gonna go on the back. Pretty simple. That's it. Not all the way out. I got about a foot to bring it out if I need to. I never put an escalate here. I just don't like too much weight. And I have just enough room to hook up my strap right here. Let's strap it down and let's get out of here. Alright guys. Well, this is not necessarily a how to load six Tahos or Escalades kind of video, but you get the idea. That's what I do. That's what I just did. It was kind of kind of dry for a, for a second. I, I thought that I'm not gonna be able to get the load because they didn't. They don't have many units. Like you can see, usually all this areas uh, full of cars with GM. Right now it's kind of empty. But yeah, this is the load. Got the Escalade long wheelbase. I'm 14.3 height. You can't deny long wheelbase. You got an Escalade in the belly. Two Yukons on top, long wheelbase, and a Tahoe in the back. This is a legal load, weight wise. So we're not gonna have any issues with that. Um, even though, consider this is a big bunk truck. I'm still 79,000 bucks with this kind of load. Yeah, guys. Um, if you want to see a how to video, let me know. Maybe I'll do uh, like start to finish how to load six units. Yeah, uh, now I'm about to hit the road and go home for the weekend. Stay tuned for the next videos, guys. Subscribe. Like the video, share with your friends. Let's see if we can grow this channel this year because last year it wasn't. I wasn't consistent with the videos and uh, it didn't grow that much at all. Like, I don't know what's, what's the deal with that YouTube, but all right, I got a low, lower 13. Uh, number five. There we go. Now we all set. <laughs> and I, look, plenty of room for two more cars. I can. I can fit any kind of sedan on the bottom and uh, something in the back, but it's just nothing. There's some junk coming off for like 400 bucks and I don't think it's worth it for me to spend my time go somewhere and uh, load some car for 400 dollars. I'd rather not. So yeah. That's it. So I look from the back. The guy's still struggling. I, I, I'm gonna help him right now off camera, but yeah. Always if you have time, guys help the new guys it's not gonna cost you much you know it's not a big deal you, you can always be a good person and help people but yeah like I said subscribe like and share this video and let me know
decided to wash my truck today because it's been snowing, like I said, in Dallas, and she's in the need of wash. Let's see what we got. Did you a good job, especially when you load it, because Blue Blinken will not wash your truck when you load it. There you go. Get it cleaned up, and we're gonna go west. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna go inside the truck, uh, the crumb, crumb shop, and I'll see if they have um, front hub caps, aluminum ones. And, uh, that way, I'm gonna try to save some money instead of buying the billet chrome uh, uh, hub caps. I'm just gonna get aluminum ones, and I'm gonna send them to get chrome because I also I'm gonna get uh, other parts chrome. Um, I'm gonna be doing the twin stick. Uh, conversion and and uh, I would like to have my uh, sticks chrome so me might as well just uh, chrome these ones too it's gonna cost like 100 bucks and uh, now I can save a few hundred bucks so yeah let's go well here she is all cleaned up you guys gonna do some tire shine and we're gonna get out of here yeah, I like when the truck is clean. Who doesn't like it? Yeah, that paint job is real nice. Still can't figure out the name of the color, but... It's a nice color for sure. If you guys have any idea what the name of the car is, let me know in the comments. When the sun hits it, when it's all dry, it's real, it's real nice. Maybe I'll just keep it the same color, just touch it up when I do the stretch. Yeah, like when I want to do a stretch, it's like add about two, uh, 21 inches in the frame. Extend that thing. Extend the front, the middle, the back. That way we can put nine, uh, nine of these bad boys. <laughs> yeah, right. Just some drop pockets all over the place. Ideally, I would like to have this pocket bigger so I can drop the whole tire down. That's gonna give me a lot of room too. Especially when it's a pickup truck, all the way dropped. You can put a 2500 on top, it's gonna be perfect. Yep. That's what's up. I did the undercarriage under wash. Looks real clean.